Hi boys and girls, welcome back to my channel and today I decided to do this video because I realized that you don't really know me that's why I decided to clarify everything today and answer your most popular questions I ask you to write me questions under my vlog video on YouTube and in my stories so if you not follow me on Instagram, please follow. I'm waiting for ya. But before we start, I saw on my analytics that 85% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Like, what? 85%? Guys, please, if you are watching this video right now, please subscribe to my channel please and like this video write a comment share this video with your friends because it will really support my channel and it will help me to shoot more videos for you guys so please i need your support subscribe like comment share yeah and let's start okay first question where are you from kika kim and what is your nationality so guys it's a little bit complicated my ethnicity is korean long time ago my great grandparents moved from korea to uzbekistan yes and that's place where my parents was born and met there and where i was born so i was born in Uzbekistan but my parents are Koreans my grandparents are Koreans everyone Koreans you know so when I was like eight nine years old we moved from Uzbekistan to Kazakhstan and since then I've lived there for almost 15 years so I think that here I'm more like a Kazakhstan person but my ethnicity is Korean so yeah it's complicated but anyway i'm korean from kazakhstan yes next question when is your birthday my birthday is on 27th of july i am a proud leo so yeah how old are you so guys how old am i what do you think just write this right now in your comments maybe you are right who knows just write did you write done okay i was born in 1999 so yeah 99 babies hello i'm not 16 17 18 years old how do you think guys i'm a little bit older so 24 your education so i have bachelor degree in finance i'm finance specialist analytic and all of the stuff so yeah but i'm not working under my profession you know what i mean i just graduated from university how old have you been blogging i started to do my tiktoks in 2020 when there was corona and everyone was so boring at home and all started to tiktok i was too so i started it and actually i take it more seriously in 2021 and from that time i'm doing this like literally every day of my life that means for 21 22 for three years i'm blogging for three years do you like k-pop of course i love k-pop guys i became like obsessed with k-pop in 2012 i guess yeah i was 20 13 years old i saw wonder girls i want nobody nobody but you you know this song right and i just became so obsessed with that and then i found girl group girls generation sunny shade is it's 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 the best group ever i don't know i'm i'm a proud son i love im yuna and gosh since that time i became obsessed with k-pop so do i like k-pop yes for the last 12 years i'm listening to k-pop do you ever had a thought to become a k-pop idol and of course waiting for your song to release soon oh thank you so much and yes of course i had that thought at that time when i was a teenager i really wanted to become a k-pop idol but i was so shy and i thought that no it's not for me i'm like not talented i can't dance i can't sing i can't do anything of that so that's not for me that's not my fate so i didn't do this but anyway it's fine 
your favorite K-pop group, please say. <laughs> okay, my favorite K-pop group is Sony Shide. I just love them. Their songs, their vibe, their personalities, but they are not so active lately, unfortunately. And of course, I love Blackpink. I love Blackpink. I love New Jeans. These two groups are just. Mm. And I love more girls k-pop groups i'm not into boys k-pop groups unfortunately like i love bts of course they are just the best but for me i prefer more girls great group i just i just love how they dance and sing all these like videos like yeah why did you move to la love you love you too my girl i moved to la because i really wanted to visit usa one day when i was in kazakhstan but it's really hard to get this tourist visa when you're from kazakhstan and i was so shocked when i got talented visa i'm here with my talented visa i got this opportunity to come and i just decided to come because we are young i don't have kids and i have this opportunity so figure out how it will work how do you like living in LA? I love LA because it's so sunny here. Do you see this weather? It's always like that, even in the winter. And that's like so crazy for me. I always had a good mood here. And I love that you have Pacific Ocean near LA, like in 20 minutes, all these beautiful beaches and everything. Yeah, from the bad sides, I can say that it's a little bit dirty here of course in beverly hills everything is beautiful everything is fine but when you are living in korea town la it's a little bit dirty here and here are a lot of homeless people in la just google what is skid row i was shocked guys but anyway i love la i loved it your favorite color it's pink it's so easy it's pink yeah i'm obsessed with pink color where are your parents my parents are now living in south korea they moved there like seven or eight years ago and since then they are living there are we not going to see you call up with any influencer in the united states guys you don't know that about me but i'm so shy i just don't know how to do all of these collabs i don't know how to write person like hi do you want to collab do you want to meet to see each other maybe to get a really good time together i just i just can't it's like it's so hard for me i'm not a really talkative person in real life like with my friends yes but with people who i don't know i'm like hi yeah yeah uh -huh, sure I'm like that, so it's really hard for me, but I will do this when I get used to all of that. Yeah. What is your MBTI? My MBTI is INFP. I did like three or four tests and all of them showed that I'm INFP. INFP here. And what is your MBTI? I just read it right now. How does it feel to be famous? Oh gosh, this is like so strange, but I don't feel that I'm famous, you know? Yes, I know that like when I meet some people, they tell me, Oh Kika, you had like more than 50 million followers all over the world on your social networks. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have. But I don't really feel it because I didn't see these people every day in my life, you know what I mean? So for me, yes, I have followers who are supporting me, I love them so much, but I don't know if I'm famous or not, I just don't really realize it. Sometimes people are going to like, Kika, Kika, can I get a photo with you? I'm like, you need a photo with me? What? But okay, let's do this. Hi. Only in this moment, I a little bit feel that oh, they know me, or oh, they saw on the YouTube or on TikTok or Instagram. Whoa, cool! But I don't really feel it that way. How do you think, guys? Have you taken music lessons since you were little? Oh, this that's a really good question because I graduated from music school. Yes, I studied at music school for seven years. I have this music diploma and i can play on the piano but i just never tried 
to sing because I don't know I was just so insecure about my voice and didn't really wanted to try I didn't sing even in the shower or karaoke like never but I can play on the piano yes and now I'm taking vocal classes so let's go what do you do for your living like work job i'm social media influencer that's why i earn money from my social networks from monetization brand deals projects and yeah but before that influencer stuff i was working for two years as a manager working with clients it was at the time when i was studying at the university i was working as a manager like at the same time combined together so yeah do you have siblings yes i have brother he's older than me we have nine years gap he already had like two kids that's insane for me what makes you change your look and image i think that it takes time i grew up my taste changed that's why i had like a little bit different style of clothes right now and maybe that i took off my extensions that's why it's like look like oh my god she changed a lot but no what is your inspiration my parents my parents is a big inspiration for me because i always saw how they work like they work so hard to help me to study at school to graduate from the university and i'm really thankful to that i really want to give them like the best life that they deserve your dressing style how do you elevate it so it's easy i started to follow more fashion clothing brands it's really helpful guys you just always watching their collections how they style it together and it helps to improve your vision you know what i mean so that helps me to improve my style who you missed most my parents and my brother because we live in different countries they all live in korea and actually yeah my brother live in korea how many language can you speak okay let's see i can speak russian because in kazakhstan people speak russian and kazakh and i know kazakh uh, i speak english as you can see i learned it in my school and i can speak korean but i don't really can speak korean when i came to korea i understand everything they say because you know i'm using a lot of these words in my home with my parents and grandparents but i can't speak it's really hard for me like to speak i don't know why i just can say this kind of things but it's hard for me to speak with people like fully with full conversations but when i was in korea people was talking to me in korea and i was just answering in english that's crazy but we communicated like that <laughs> who is your best friend so i have three besties from my university we know each other for seven or eight years that's crazy for me and when i'm in kazakhstan we see each other like two times a week we love to spend time together now i'm in LA. they are in kazakhstan and we do like a video zoom meetings like we planned everything okay on that day we need to do a zoom together and speak about everything what happened in our life lately so yeah what countries have you explored oh that's a really interesting question so i was born in Uzbekistan, right and i'm korean from kazakhstan so i explored kazakhstan i was in russia i was in south korea many times in japan sri lanka turkey dubai switzerland france italy and now united states so 12 countries which is the best country you have traveled to oh my god this is japan guys if you have opportunity to go to japan just go i don't know this is like the best universe for people who love anime and it's like so so beautiful so authentic traditional like it's really different and when you come to japan it's really peaceful there like so silently i don't know not like right now here in my building oh and switzerland because switzerland it's literally like a movie 
I don't know, like a fairy tale. It's so beautiful there, the nature is crazy. And infrastructure, to see all this nature beauties, it's really good there. What do you fear most? Guys, I fear a lot of things like insects and all of this stuff. But I think the most is losing people that I love. It's like a really big fear for me. Sometimes I think about that like every day, but it's really bad to do this. Do you have a pet? No, but I really, really want to get a dog. Oh, oh my gosh, and I think in the future I will do this. They're so cute. And I want to get them, to love them, and to feed them. Like, How the hell did you get so popular? Did you think you would get this far? Also, how do you join XOT? Let's go step by step. How the hell did you get so popular? That's crazy for me too, because in 2021, my videos on TikTok blew up and I got views. And in one month, 10 million people followed me on TikTok. That's what's crazy, guys. Did you think you would get this far? I don't know, guys. It's just, it's a funny, I want to tell you this story. At the end of 2020, I got a job offer. You know, at the time I studied at the university and to get this job offer was right, really cool and was really good conditions there. And I was thinking, do I need to accept this offer or I need to develop on TikTok because at that time I had like 1,000 followers on TikTok and I declined my job over and decided to try and develop myself on TikTok because you know you're studying in university and you have this time maybe maybe I can try and we will figure out how it will be so here we are guys and that's crazy for me also how did you join XOT when I blew up on TikTok other like popular influencers started to follow me and I got this invita invitation from TikTok houses it was a couple of them and i decided to go to exo team and join their team so can you tell how was your first youtube video oh my god guys that was stressful because it was my first time shooting in front of the camera like alone i don't know how to like talk how to act what i need to do and i was like so shy because you know at that time, I really love to watch mukbangs, but how I need to film mukbangs like myself, that was crazy for me. So it was really, really hard, but we did it. Yeah, and I remember when I was in taxi and was going to my shootings, my manager texted me like, Kik, I'm so sorry, I forgot to order this black wall, you know, when mukbangs at that time was really popular to get this black wall behind you and eat in front of it because your food will be like more brighter i was like so sad about that but what is i decided to do is just like in my room with all of my clothes there and everything so yeah but i really love that she forgot to order because it gave us this beautiful and aesthetic room quality and everything and now the most popular questions guys i'm sorry if this sounds rude but are you still in exo team not guys i'm not a member of exo team i officially said it to you like in october november last year why did you leave exo team so at the beginning of 2022, I literally disappeared from EXO team social networks because I moved back to Kazakhstan. And since then, beginning of 2022, I took a part in four of EXO team's video shootings. And I remember how everyone was tagging me under their new videos like, where is Kika? What is happening? Where is Kika? But I just like disappeared i'm so sorry for that guys it didn't make me happy anymore i grew up and i've changed i wanted to develop as a solo influencer and i remember 
how at the end of 2022 i said to them i want to quit guys because i really disappeared from your social networks i'm just shooting alone i hope people understand this and founders of exo team said to me like can you stay a little bit longer like maybe you will change your mind who knows just we will see and we saw each other in sri lanka do you remember that but after that i go back to Kazakhstan and realized that no I really want to quit and before came to the United States I said to them no I want to quit EXO team officially because it's just it's not me anymore I hope you will understand that and everything is fine so yeah I decided to do this official on my social networks on my Instagram stories because I just got so many questions like Kiko what's happening where are you where are you are you still in EXO team no I'm not and I quit last year so guys this is the end and I hope you like this format if you still have questions ask me in the comment section and maybe I will do another part and I will answer them so yeah thank you for watching guys please subscribe to my channel and support this video like comment share with your friends I really really appreciate this it will help my channel to grow to shoot more videos for you so yeah thank you guys i love you bye bye